A consumer alert tonight for people who use self-storage facilities. And CBS 2's Jeff Vaughn found out that some are hiding a dangerous little secret, Jeff? Yeah, there's a lot of security here, but this still happens, which is kind of a head-scratcher. It really is. You would think that locking up all your stuff in these self-storage units would keep everything safe and secure. But time and time again, people are going back to reclaim their things, only to find them stolen and gone. When Lisa Gray moved back home with her family in Ventura County, putting extra stuff in storage was a necessity. I had, you know, purchased bed sheets, I had new lamps and candles and jewelry. I had um, just a lot of valuables. She says she chose A to Z storage in Moore Park based on their advertised state of the art security system and the fact that managers are on site 24 7. On November 17th, I believe it was, of 2015, I received a call from A to Z storage informing me that there were boxes with my name on it sitting outside the facility. They didn't even know that there was a theft until I arrived. In fact, managers at A to Z say that there has been a rash of thefts in the area. Lisa got in touch with the sheriff's department and then CBS 2 News. You feel an invasion of privacy. We contacted A to Z storage, which provided this statement. Quote, this is the first time in 20 years we've had thefts, and it was a total of three units. Facility manager says that they're working with local authorities about the burglaries and went on to say that they encourage all tenants to get their own insurance in case a theft does occur. Something Lisa did have, she would also ask more questions. Who's working at the facility? Do they have guard dogs? Um, what their policies are, what is, um, what is their part in the contract, who's the owner. So, what can you do if you have items in self-storage? The Better Business Bureau recommends you get insurance protecting against theft, fire, and damage. Ask the facility about their security and access. Read the fine print and always get everything in writing. Well, as for Lisa, she's thinking twice before she uses another self-storage facility. It's an eye-opening experience as to how the world works. Well, if you have a consumer alert or an issue that you think that I should look into, just hit me up on social media. Use that hashtag CBSLA or find me on Twitter at Jeff Vaughn. And Pat and Paul, really the key here is to make sure if you use these storage facilities to have insurance in case anything like this happens. Good idea. Good advice. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff.